Meat Boy is back. Today we have another approachable nutrient dense recipe that you can use to add high quality animal foods to your diet or a particularly picky eater's diet. So this raw cheese sandwich is something I saw in a YouTube video. It was like 10 best sandwiches from all around the world. I can't find the video, but I saw this cheese that was shredded mixed with like mayonnaise, butter, and spread on some bread. And I was like, that would be a perfect way to add a variety of really high quality dairy products to a sandwich. And since there's a mayonnaise, you know, you can add some egg yolks, get your omega-3. This would be perfect even if you, you know, grilled it after you made it. I never really saw such an approachable sandwich that gave pretty much every single vitamin and mineral your body needed. So let me show you guys what you need to make this. And uh, of course, this isn't actually carnivore. I'm sure you could use the carnivore components and make this mixture and it would be delicious on its own and you could try to do some type of bread substitute. But the goal here is just nutrient density and being as minimally inflammatory as possible. We actually made a mayonnaise from duck fat, I believe, some months back on this channel. So you guys can go back to that recipe to get some ideas for a more carnivore oriented mayonnaise. But I decided today that we should make the mayonnaise from butter. So traditionally, mayonnaise is just oil, eggs, vinegar, salt, a little bit of mustard, sometimes some lemon juice, and you can add whatever seasonings you'd like. Since I saw them put, you know, butter and mayonnaise in that sandwich, I was like, why not just make the mayonnaise from butter and you rule out adding an extra fat. But by all means, you could you know, use some high quality organic store-bought mayonnaise, although I highly recommend doing it yourself. This is uh, some Finlandia butter we have on Frankie's range meat. I would use raw butter from the farm. I just didn't have any this week. Uh, these are local eggs from the farm. Uh, we're gonna use one whole egg and one egg yolk. And uh, as with the butter, we're gonna use this whole 224 gram, about eight ounces for quite a big batch of mayonnaise. And the main thing the egg yolks are gonna add are pretty much every single nutrient, but importantly, preformed omega-3s. You know, butter is very rich in fat-soluble vitamins. It's a good source of calcium, and of course, excellent source of calories. Uh, the rest of the stuff here is seasoning. So, you know, we have salt, pepper, mustard, and vinegar, which are classic to mayonnaise. I'm going to, you know, dice up some red peppers, put a little garlic in there, and a pinch of paprika, uh, to add some flavors uh, that I saw in this sandwich recipe they were making. So, you know, by all means, be creative, add what you'd like, but I think this is gonna be really, really delicious. And, you know, red pepper, garlic, paprika, still very approachable, not too exotic to most people. The main components of the sandwich, we have some sourdough bread from Whole Foods, not the best, and wow, this was $5 for one loaf of bread. You know, obviously, make the bread yourself if you can, but, you know, since I'm not eating this for myself, and I don't want to spend, you know, hours and hours baking a loaf of traditional sourdough. I just picked this up for a recipe to show you guys. And I will do a video on picking out bread at the supermarket uh, if I haven't already. And we have some cheddar from Frankie's Syringe Meat. Uh, I think cheddar is a good choice here. You could use Gruyere. You could really use whatever cheese you like. Uh, Parmesan might be a bit too strong. And as with the butter, cheese is very high in fat soluble vitamins, but cheese also has water-soluble B vitamins, it has a much higher calcium content, has some vitamin K2 as it's fermented. Overall, this is an excellent way to get a ton of fat-soluble vitamins, a ton of caloric nutrition, a lot of omega-3s, great for kids, super approachable. So what we really have to do is blend all of these ingredients up in a food processor or blender. We have to grate the cheese, slice the bread, and that's really it. You know, I mentioned earlier, you know, you can probably grill this as a grilled cheese and it would be delicious, but you know, we do have a high quality raw cheese here and I know a lot of you guys do want to preserve as much nutrition as possible. So I'm just going to smash up one garlic clove. And I didn't mention, but every single thing here is organic from a local farm, uh, with the exception of the paprika, which uh, shouldn't be that big of a deal. So one small garlic clove goes into the blender. The recipe calls for one egg, but I'm going to add an extra yolk to get more omega fatty acids. About a teaspoon of vinegar, teaspoon of mustard as well. Don't go too crazy with the mustard actually. Maybe we'll do like half a teaspoon. Can really overpower the mayonnaise. Add a little bit of salt, a few cracks of pepper. 
maybe a quarter teaspoon of paprika. This is smoked paprika from Spain, much higher quality than typical American kitchen. And then we have our eight ounces of butter. This is about two sticks. This has been sitting at room temperature to, to do this easier. And I'm hoping this is gonna blend up and that I didn't have to melt the butter instead, but we'll see. Maybe we'll have to take all this out and melt it a little bit. All right, let's see if this emulsifies. So there we have our nicely emulsified butter mayonnaise. Look at that, that looks great. So we've got a really beautiful consistency on this mayonnaise. Now I'm gonna chop up some red peppers, nice and small, and put them in here. So again, organic fire roasted red peppers from Whole Foods. Could make these yourself if you want to be bothered to you know throw some bell peppers on the fire, but it's a lot easier. There's our peppers. This looks really good. I'll just have a bowl of this for lunch. <laughs> Could have chopped these peppers a little smaller, but it's fine. And I think this mayonnaise is something that would definitely be better after it sat for like a day or two in the fridge. Let all those flavors really meld. So as we saw earlier, this is the cheddar we have on Frankie's free range meat. And we have a variety of cheeses that you guys can try out and use. And you want this to be pretty shredded, so I'm using the finer grind. And we don't need a crazy amount of cheese. This is, this is way more than enough. I think this should be enough for two sandwiches, and this is only about a quarter pound of cheese. So we have our cheese, we have our mayonnaise. I'm ready to assemble the sandwich. Man, I haven't had bread in God knows how many years. This bread is not tempting enough though to break that spell. I feel like this should be served more like a, you know, an open face hors d'oeuvre than a sandwich, but it's up to you guys. So I guess we'll do maybe a couple tablespoons of cheese, a couple dollops of the mayonnaise, Mix it together, and then just spoon that on the sandwich. And whenever you make something with bread or a grain, you really want to kind of like overload the animal foods because, you know, that's where the nutrition is. And we're just using the bread as an approachable carrier for the animal nutrition. And the bread is also some caloric energy. Let's get our little taste tester to try this out. It's egg salad? No, it's not egg salad, you know. Look at that. Although a carnivore egg salad is a good idea. You guys can expect that video in the future. So this is a, a raw cheese sandwich, Gina. It's mayonnaise, a little bit of red peppers. No, and no, it's an open face. Or you want to do it like a normal sandwich? Yeah, a normal sandwich. So that's too much bread, but... Get the... In there. Try not to make a mess here. It does look like a, it does look like a scrambled egg or an egg oh. salad sandwich, and she's dropping it all over the floor. I'll be okay. I'm just gonna... Right? Oh, I don't your mouth. Well, Jeannie, your mouth is certainly big enough. Mmm. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend she doesn't mm. eat all day. It's fine, Jeannie. We'll pick it up later. Mmm. Have you had anything like this, right, Gina? Oh, good. Does it remind you of anything? Just like a cheese sandwich, right? With mm -hmm. mayo. Oh, it's a cheese sandwich? I thought it was the egg salad. It tastes like egg salad. Well, there's mayonnaise and there's some egg in there. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Mmm, kind of What did you say, Gina? This it's... is really delicious. Okay. Just deciphering for those of us that don't speak sandwich. Haven't had a sandwich in a while, Gina, right? Mm mm. How long? Probably over a year, right? Mm hmm. Two, three years. Unless Dad snuck you a sandwich when I wasn't looking. <laughs> no. Mmm. Any, any last thoughts, Gina, on the sandwich? It's so delicious and moist. Should, should they try it? You should definitely try the sandwich. It's so good. It's not really like a grilled cheese, right? Mm-mm. So this looks really, really delicious, and this might be one of the first foods I try when I stop the uh, carnivore diet. Who knows how long that's going to be, though, if it's ever going to happen. Mm. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. If you guys want to support me further, you know how to do that down in the description. Uh, we have the cheese on Frankie's hearing me, but thanks again for joining me today, guys. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. If you can share the video on social media, please do. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Oops.